Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 123. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook. YouTubers Love Excel 121 to 125. Hey, this YouTuber asked how to count emails. But here's the situation. He had these emails sent out on this date. And then he had a list of emails sent out to the same address but on on dates that were after these dates and he wanted to build a table so then in this column zeros up here would say how many emails were sent out on the same day as this in this column it would be how many emails were sent out one day later in this column it would be how many emails are sent out here to uh, two days later. Now this is going to be a complicated array formula and we're going to use um, cell references. As always I have notes. I have notes up at the top and uh, references to other videos like array and um, cell references and things like that. All right. The first thing we need to realize is that when you type a date in uh, to see up here it says 10 17 2006 that's not really what goes in the cell if you control one to show format cells and go to the number tab see how it says date and there's a format but if you click on ger general you can see that that's 39,007 um, the number that's what's really in the cell and that's what we can do date math that's the number of days since December 31st 1899 all right that's the whole crux of this now we're going to have to build an array formula and we're going to have to ask, hey, um, in this cell right here, look at this email right here and search through the list and see how many there are. And then we have to compare this date to, um, which is a serial date, uh, plus whatever this is, in this case zero. Here it would be the serial date plus one. We're going to have to compare that to this whole column of dates. Now here we go. We're going to start it, try it right here. Uh, alt equals, that's the auto sum, and then we have to do an open parentheses. Now we want to scroll down and get all of the email addresses. I'm going to click in the top and then control shift down arrow. That's to send it all the way down. I'm going to hit F4 because we need that locked in all directions. So what we're asking here is that whole range, when is it equal to, and we're going to click on that. Uh, email address right there. It'll give us a bunch of trues and falses. Now here's the, the fact about this cell reference. When we copy it down we want it relative, but when you copy it across the columns you want it locked. So you need to hit your F4 three times so the dollar signs in front of the B only. Close parentheses. That gives us a bunch of true falses and we need to multiply that by another bunch of true falses. And that other bunch of true falses is going to be the date column control shift down arrow and then F4 and that has to be equal to now watch this in parentheses we take the serial date here and that needs to be locked not going down but across the column so F4 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 plus whatever is right up above here this zero and that's how when we copy it over we can get this uh, date uh, column here looking at successively one day higher increments. Now that cell reference right here we need a lock going down but not one that's going across because when it goes across the columns we want it to move. So we're going to hit F4, F4 and the dollar sign needs to be in front of the six only. And then I'm going to close parentheses on that addition there and then close parentheses on this whole series of true false. Now I have my formula. I can control shift and then enter. That means for an array formula it won't work unless you hold control and shift and then hit enter. Now you can copy this down, double click, and send it all the way over by dragging. And sure enough we can see that uh, for this email here there was none sent out the same day. One sent out one day later. One sent out two days later. We scroll over here we can see there was four nine days later. And I even put some little formulas uh, to make sure this formula worked, I'm, you always got to double and triple check. I added up those and then did a uh, count if to see if I got all the emails. All right, so that's a pretty tricky uh, uh, array formula to count emails. All right, see you next trick.